Now, News Channel 8 Morning News. Well, this month is Sleep Awareness Month, the Sleep Foundation's campaign promoting the importance of sleep. It is very important, and Eileen Whalen is live this morning at Premier Sleep Center in Potomac, Maryland, with some healthy sleep suggestions. Getting a little rest there, Eileen, huh? I'm prepping for my rest in one of the sleep centers, so comfy in my bed here and I've got my slippers on so I'm uh, ready to get my sleep on literally but anyways I'm now joined by Dr. Pinsky who is a dentist and so how did you get into you know how is dentistry related to sleep well my dad had sleep apnea and he actually died from sleep apnea it made his heart go bad over a period of 15 years so I'm really passionate about it I look into patients' mouths every single day. I can, when we look down their throat, we can see if they have a restricted airway. And many times, I'm the first person that tells them that they may have a problem breathing. That's something that you know. I guess I had never put you know the two and two together, but it makes sense. So, for those people wondering why I look so obnoxious, what exactly is this that I'm wearing on my head? It's a home sleep test unit. I have another one on my wrist. There's many different types that are out there, yeah. and these work great. A lot of patients don't want to go to a, a sleep laboratory to be tested, and now insurance covers these home sleep test units. You can do this in the comfort of your own home, and it checks for oxygen levels and problems with apneas and breathing. These work great. Wow, that's a really, you know, great option for those people that may not be able to come to a place like this, you know, to actually, you know, come to the sleep center itself. So these are good options. But, you know, being a dentist, you know, we've got these these little chompers here. Uh, these are mouth guards. So what are these for? Yes, th this is almost like an upper and lower mouth guard. These work great. These are for patients that aren't breathing properly, have sleep apnea. It's an alternative to CPAP. It's used for mild to moderate sleep apnea. If you have severe sleep apnea and you can't wear a CPAP, these appliances, we put them in, we open up the bite, bring the lower jaw forward a little bit, and it helps the patient breathe better. Dr. Pinsky, some great information. Brian, you know, I, the two of us, I mean, are, everyone on this shift understands, you know, just being so sleep deprived. And, you know, seriously, I feel like I need to uh, try to get as much rest later as I possibly can so we can be in full Stormwatch 7 snow mode come tomorrow morning. You are exactly Not right. Not again. I know. I'm going to take a nap now, Brian, okay? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. I okay? Like, I like your tiara. Bye. <laughs>